Hello guys, Alex here for Ready, Set, Go and welcome back. If you're new to our channel, please take a moment and subscribe. We appreciate your support. Well, that didn't take long. What I had mentioned a month ago in my video review for YouTube TV has finally happened. I opened yesterday an email notification from Google that started reading as a thank you note. I even thought for a second I would receive a free Google Home Hub and finish announcing the arrival of eight Viacom CBS channels in addition to a $15 price increase. In this video, I will be going over the price increase and what's being included with the service. For a more in-depth review of how YouTube TV works, I recommend you check my YouTube TV 2020 review, for which I will post the link below. If you head online to tv.youtube.com, you will see that the site has been updated. Now, you can see that the channel lineup has gone to over 85 plus channels. The newly added channels include BET, CMT, Comedy Central, MTV, Nickelodeon, Paramount Network, TV Land, and VH1. Google is strongly defending its new price tier when comparing its service to its closest competitor, which is Hulu Plus Live TV. The fact that YouTube TV includes NBA and MLB networks, the Viacom CBS package, and free unlimited DVR truly gives YouTube TV an advantage. When compared to traditional cable, YouTube TV still has the lead and it's not even close. No box rental fees, no DVR fees, no HD fees, no local channel fees, no broadcast fees, no cancellation fees, and the list goes on and on. The number of accounts per household is still at 6, and you can only stream on 3 screens at a time, which quite frankly is a disappointment. For an extra $15 a month, it would have been a nice incentive to increase the amount of simultaneous streams to at least 4. Here's the thing, I have personally been using YouTube TV since it originally launched back in 2017, and have gone through their price hikes and still have continued with the service but not with some resentment, to be honest. For all customers like myself, there has never been a little incentive. One would think Google would maybe honor current subscribers and not let them be immediately affected by their price hikes, but that's hardly ever the case. Some recent postings on YouTube TV's Twitter account have them explaining that they understand this new price tier is not for everyone and that they understand many will cancel one of the tweets, it's even leaving the door open to the possibility of offering a tier content option in the future, which would really make a lot of sense. Truth is, many customers would have option out of getting these Viacom CBS channels if given the option. In fact, many subscribers got into YouTube TV for sports, which is something that's been sorely missed throughout this pandemic. Another thing we have to keep in mind is that there's still additional Viacom CBS channels, such as BET Her, MTV2, MTV Classic, Nick Jr., Nick Toons, and Tin Nick that will be soon included in the channel lineup. This really makes me wonder, once again, if there will be an additional price adjustment, or if the $15 price increase they just made will cover the entire Viacom CBS package. In my opinion, as Google looks to keep expanding its YouTube TV channel catalog, these price hikes will surely continue, to the point where I can easily see the service costing close to $95 per month. The sad part about all this is that unless cable companies improve the price and offerings of their channel packages, or a better competing service shows up, YouTube TV will continue to be the better deal. So at $65 per month, many of you are probably wondering, what are your options at this moment? Well, I have some suggestions in no particular order. Number five, cancel other subscriptions. Through this, when you add the cost of all your streaming subscriptions, your entertainment budget can quickly get out of hand. By canceling some of your other services, you could make up for the extra cost. Number four, switch between subscriptions. One of the advantages that all these online subscription services offer is the ability to cancel at any time. Truth is, many of us have several streaming options out there and most likely do not use them all the time. 
You might want, for example, to cancel your Netflix one month, and then your Disney Plus the other month, and so far so on. Remember, you can always subscribe again if something shows up that you're really interested in watching. Number three, split the bill. One alternative is splitting the bill with a family member in your household. A $65 bill split between three or two all of a sudden becomes way more manageable. Number two, pause your subscription. Aside from canceling, one option YouTube TV offers is pausing your membership for an extended period of time. That way, it gives you some time to explore other alternatives out there without losing any of your recorded content, for example. Number one, cancel your subscription. There are more cost-effective live TV streaming options out there. If you find this price increase is more than what you can pay right now and you're sure you want to opt out, then canceling might be a sound choice for you. One thing I have to say, if you do end up canceling and switching to other services, please understand that you will save money, but the user experience these other services offer, in my opinion, is nowhere close to what YouTube TV brings to the table. With more than 85 plus channels, YouTube TV is still not priced like your traditional cable bill, but it's really getting there. It is also clear that Google never intended for YouTube TV to be that bang for your buck live TV subscription alternative for cord cutters out there. What it is instead, it's a clear alternative in replacing those traditional over-the-top expensive cable subscriptions out there. The fact that Google has decided to implement this price hike during a pandemic where many are going through extremely hard times seems like an extremely risky move by Google. But is it? Google knows that now more than ever, many are practicing social distancing and are spending most of their time at home consuming online content. Google really knows that they have a game changer with this service and are willing to go all in and bet the house that you will not cancel and that the service will gain even more subscribers. So overall guys, with YouTube TV priced at $65 per month, what will you do? Will you continue with the service? Will you pause your membership or simply say adios? Remember one huge advantage these online subscription services provide is the freedom to cancel or resume without any penalty fees. In the end, as a paying customer, you can never forget that the choice is always yours. Thank you so much for watching. We would love to read what's your take on this, so feel free to leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. This is Alex for Ready Set Go. Till next time.